We have also in this article we have the the ex uh, Health and Human Services Secretary Mike Levitt, who's the ex governor of uh, Utah uh, here. Uh, Mike Levitt goes on and it makes this quote that's really very interesting. He says, overall, quote, what happened, meaning this, the Brevik flu, the swine flu, a reaction worldwide was not an overreaction. It was a prudent response, said Michael Levitt, the Bush administration health secretary, who led the development of the U.S. pandemic flu plans and advised other governments on theirs. Absolutely. Quote, if imminent information about terrorism is known to authorities, they need to react, Mike Levitt says. And here's what's really amazing, quote, a pandemic is nature's terrorists. Think about that. A pandemic is nature's terrorists. Uh, Secretary Levitt, now Citizen Levitt, I submit to you, Mother Nature does not subscribe to terrorism. That's the area of man. Mother Nature does things uh, very orderly, with very much uh, uh, a plan of love, not a plan of hate and destruction, and not heavens for sakes, not terrorism. So, uh, Secretary Levitt, what does this mean? Who is really doing the terrorism here? The article goes on, and again, the focus of all this is to get as many people in America and, and first and second world countries to receive an untested, untried, potentially lethal vaccine. This wave of release of the so-called swine flu, what I call a breathing flu, will never become highly volatile and toxic unless and until vaccine uh, specific vaccines are shot into people's into people's veins the same way it was done in 1916 1917 when and if that occurs folks is when the true pandemic will happen I'm here to tell you we've got to stop and I say we American American grassroots People that really care about, about the future of this country need to stand up right now, make their voices heard, and say, we will not allow you to forcibly come, uh, uh, have us uh, vaccinated uh, or, bra or to break the law. Now, under the control of, uh, and, and work of, of Secretary Levitt, he went to each of the 50 states when he was Health and Human Secretary and basically did a lot of uh, arm twisting and, and fear mongering to get the states to pass something that the federal government had uh, drafted. It's called the Model State Emergency Health Powers Act. Folks, wherever you're listening to this video from, you need to check your state laws. Find out if your state has passed any version of the Model State Emergency Health Powers Act. Most states have, the majority have passed some form of this Health Powers Act. In the event of a national declaration of pandemic, martial law basically is declared. Each state that subscribes to this has a pandemic team of emergency personnel that under the act will require by law compulsory vaccination of this vac this influenza vaccine why is that a problem folks simply because the vaccine is harvested and produced by human kidney cells combined with african green monkey kidney cells Again, going back to this May 10th article, just Sunday, expediting the production of a vaccine, steps one through five of how to get enough vaccine for every man, woman, and child in America, when, not if, the pandemic is declared. Uh, step number three, the live viruses are injected into 
African green monkey cells, kidney cells, and then then uh, harvested and made into a vaccine. Well, folks, don't forget that HIV uh, also, which is, the, which is the virus that produces um, acquired immune deficiency or AIDS, was originally called African green monkey disease because it was tied to the exact same thing, viruses that came out of African green monkey kidney cells. Think about it. It's very important to understand. This vaccine is designed to be a eugenics program of the highest order. One of my colleagues is a, is a brilliant uh, uh, PhD scientist named Lauren Moray. Back in uh, 2004, uh, November 20th, she wrote uh, this piece, uh, Jeff Renz posted it on his website, it's entitled Kissinger Eugenics and Depopulation. Uh, she goes on to explain and show how uh, the power elite of this, of this country and the world have long targeted third world countries, specifically Mexico and South America, for depopulation uh, uh, policies and projects. The article says, quote, depopulation policy became the top priority under the National Security Council, Club of Rome, and policymakers like uh, Henry Kissinger and Zbigniew Brzezinski. Of course, it just happens to be that, that Henry Kissinger and Zbigniew Brzezinski are the main mentors right now and support base of our President, President uh, uh, Obama today. So. There it is, it's, it's resurrected. Uh, Prince Philip of Britain, a member of the Bilderberg Group, uh, the, the brother to Prince Charles, said this quote in uh, December of 1995. This is published and found uh, in an in a insider's report of the American Policy Center. He said, quote, if I were to be reincarnated, I would wish to be returned to Earth as a killer virus to lower human population levels. So there you see the elite have it in their uh, agenda for the what they call the new order of the, of the ages to protect Mother Earth by killing off massive amounts of undesirable populations in third world countries. Mexico City is one of those ones specifically targeted and going into third world countries. Here is a the, the detailed report is uh, called the Kissinger Report, uh, 2004. This was Human Life International um, actually uh, produced this report. It's a retrospective looking back on the Kissinger Report of, of uh, 1974. It's called the uh, NSSM, National Security Memorandum, uh, number 2200. And in this report, I uh, won't uh, go into, the, into, into depth, but Kissinger actually uh, said that the population of, of Mexico must be decreased, and specifically the other areas of, of concern in the third world countries were all something unique. They, they were Hispanic individuals uh, and, and uh, native Indian. Uh, cultures, okay, that were targeted to be, to be uh, eliminated through some kind of biological weaponry, okay. Isn't it interesting that that just happens to be where, where the most viral strain of the so-called swine flu, which is really again the Brevig flu, recreated in a laboratory from gene fragments of Brevig, Alaska. Isn't that isn't that interesting that that's where this outbreak occurs and where it's hit the hardest.